High-tech equipment allows experts to track hurricanes long before they make landfall, giving us time to prepare before we are clobbered by these deadly storms. Earlier today, John Van Pelt of StormStudy.com gave us a behind-the-scenes look at how the technology is helping us get ready for Hurricane Wilma. We're going to give you a sort of behind the scenes as we all wait for Wilma to hit Naples, Florida. And just to give you a little bit of an idea, you can see my colleague behind me over there, Bill Hemmer, he's doing a live report. The storm is not due to come in for a couple hours, but everybody's getting very busy. I'm here with John with StormStudy.com. Hello, John. Hey, how you doing, brother? You don't usually do this, do you? Uh, only during hurricanes. Okay, what's your, what's your daytime job, your day job? I actually work at Tri Properties, a company in Raleigh, North Carolina, and ad agency, ad agency Props Marketing. All right, well, let's show the viewers exactly what you do. Let's walk over to your truck. All right, you have your van parked right next to our satellite truck. Absolutely, I'm your weather guy for this storm. All right, what do you do with this truck? Because this is a pretty fancy truck. Well, we do severe weather education documentation so we can tell the public how to be safe when events threaten. All right, what do you have here? First of all, you got a light up here. What's that? Yeah, that's the board we ran the other day when the Yucatan was being torn up by Hurricane Wilma, and we did, did a story, so we put that up there, and we'll do an update later on when, when we uh, go back on. That's a message board that gives the public safety messages. One on the back also, and then around the truck here, where some of the gear that we actually do the weather data. We've got the Davis Weather Station up here, the black and white thing that gives us rainfall, temperature, humidity, dew point, the wind speed and direction on the roof of the truck, and inside's where the real magic happens. We also have this satellite system up on here, the nearest satellite that lets us send video and data wherever we go. All right, so the viewers aren't confused. I asked you to turn those lights on to show the message. That's not a current message. Correct. All the right. current message is Wilma's getting ready to pound South Florida. And it's coming in a few hours. All right, how much does this truck cost with all its equipment? Uh, everything on here about eighty nine. $90, and you do this during hurricane season? Yes, and during the spring we do uh, severe weather education for tropical, uh, for uh, thunderstorms, tornadoes, flooding, because flooding is a big thing all year round in there. All right, come on over and show us the inside of your truck and see what you have inside the tracks of storm. All right, hop in and show us what we got in here. Yeah, we, we've got the latest advisory here, which we were just looking at. This white dot is us. This is not Naples. This is the truck, and if we zoom up, this white dot is us. This white line is the track. Uh, Marco Island looks like more of a target now. Later, Earlier today, it looked like it was going to be down around Everglades City. And earlier this morning, it looked like Naples. The track can shift, and it's going to shift. And that's what people have to be aware of. It's not this line down the middle. It's the cone of uncertainty. And 85 miles on either side of this line, even if it stays where it is, hurricane force winds, 230 miles on either side of this line, tropical storm force winds. The good thing about this one is it's going to be moving fast if there's anything good to be said about it. All right, so we are how many miles under the current projected center? How far away is Naples from the current line? Naples is about 20 miles or so. All right, so we should be getting here, assuming the track stays. What kind of uh, hurricane winds do you expect here? I would think we're going to be in the category two force winds, and they're saying it could be a Cat 3 when it comes to shore, probably a Cat 2 will certainly get Category 1 storm force winds here. All right, and so the thing we have to worry about, that warm water out in the Gulf, whether that uh, cranks up the speed. Absolutely. If the, if the warm water helps and the shear abates a little bit and stops trying to tear the storm apart, we could be in more trouble than we already are. All right, the outside air is terribly hot. Is that irrelevant to the speed? Uh, it won't have anything to do with the speed, but we feel how warm it is now, and that means that the environment is good for the hurricane. It likes warm, wet weather, and that's what we got. All right, what else do you have on? What other kind of software pictures do you have for us? We can look. Um, this webcam on stormstudy.com is going up 24-7. Uh, Every minute we get a new picture. Every five minutes we get the new weather off of the virtual weather station with this Davis weather station right here. And we're going to have one set up where you are, too, and we've got data with, uh, with Steve also. So we're going to have data from all over the place for Fox News coverage tomorrow. All right, if someone wants to log on, do you have to have this software or, or can you go look at this? You can go to stormstudy.com and get uh, the current pictures from where we are and where you're going to be and current weather from where we are and where you're going to be. What else do you have on there? Oh, we got lots of stuff. Let me see, where are the games? Actually, we don't have any games. One of the things we're doing, Echolink. The National Hurricane Center wants reports from people like us who can verify the data with all these instruments. We do that. We give the National Hurricane Center reports. Echolink actually lets me press my space bar with a voice over IP connection, which is still amateur radio. We can talk directly to the Hurricane Center and give them reports, and that's what we'll do all day tomorrow, too. All right, well, well we're worried, and uh, we're also looking forward to this storm to uh, come through and come through quickly. You say it's going to be fast? 
it's going to be a fast mover, and that's the only good thing we can say about it. That means it won't be pounding us too long. So anyway, that's how we're getting ready for this storm. The Hurricane Wilma will be joining us very shortly in the next couple hours, and uh, we're getting ready for it because, as you can see, the behind-the-scenes Fox News Channel is here at the site. We've got satellites. We've got reporters. We've got correspondents. We've got camera people. we got audio people. We are ready to bring you the very latest uh, so you can see for yourself what Wilma's going to do.